It's time for episode 135 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, and today we'll talk about women in the martial arts, sexism, and some more. Let me introduce myself. I'm Whistlekick's founder, but I'm better known as your host on this show, Jeremy Lesniak. Whistlekick, I'm really happy to say, continues to make the best sparring gear, apparel, and accessories for practitioners and fans of traditional martial arts. Welcome to any of you that are new to the show, and thank you to all of you that have chosen to come back again. It's because of you that this show continues to grow. All of our past episodes, show notes, and a bunch more are at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com, and that's where you can also sign up for our great, just a couple times a month, not going to bug you. We'll even send you a free, exclusive episode, newsletter, podcast, completely botched that, but you know what I'm saying. You can sign up for the newsletter at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. There we go. I should have just stayed with that, shouldn't I? Did you know we have a wholesale program? We mention it at the end of every episode, but some of you may not make it all the way there. Yep, we do. And you can visit wholesale.whistlekick.com and sign up for our discounted wholesale pricing for your school or your competition team. There's no minimum, no shipping charges, just fast service of our awesome Whistlekick sparring gear. You can check it out today. Again, that website, wholesale.whistlekick.com. I've heard some people say that martial arts is inherently sexist. Is it? I don't know. I'm not the best person to answer that question. I was raised by a single mother, and my primary martial arts instructor was a woman. And she was an amazing martial artist and a strong instructor, a great role model to everyone, regardless of gender. So I grew up with out a lot of the gender biases that some people see. And how bad am I at this? And let me give you an example that a woman, a good friend of the show, recently brought to me as we talked about some of the things that are going to trickle into this show. In a lot of traditional martial arts schools, everyone is forced to wear white uniforms. Sometimes at higher ranks, you get to change that. But that includes white pants. Now, for a lot of women, wearing white pants can be nerve-wracking several days out of the month. I'm not going to be any more um, blunt than that. I think you all know where I'm going. But when this person brought that to me, it blew me away. It was an example of something that I had never even considered. I taught my own martial arts school for several years, and everyone was required to wear a full white gi uniform. Hadn't even occurred to me, in part because I'm not a woman and no one had ever told me. I felt incredibly insensitive, and I feel a little naive sharing this with you, but I think it's a perfect example of how some martial arts schools are set up, maybe not for men but without realizing that there are things that are not supportive of women. Some people look at the martial arts and say that there are a lot more men. And anecdotally, I think I would have to agree. And it may be due to some of this hopefully unintentional sexism that we can see in some of our traditional practices. I know that when I attend martial arts events, uh, especially competitions, there seem to be fewer women competing. Uh, There are fewer women refereeing, certainly fewer women holding the place of grandmaster or, you know, really high rank in a system. To be fair, I can't say for certain that it's the color pants people are asked to wear that forces this. But I also don't know. It could simply be the perpetuation of a cycle. Boys grow up seeing examples, lots of examples of men as martial arts instructors And girls grow up seeing fewer of those examples. Again, that's anecdotal to my life. When I consider the martial arts schools that I know that are run by women, some of whom have been on this show, there are far more women that are students in those schools as a percentage than the average. And that's certainly not scientific, but my gut tells me this, this is a large part of it. If you haven't noticed... One of the goals of this podcast is to help move the martial arts forward, to help shed light on some of the darker subjects, 
And I think we could consider this one of them. I've had enough women approach me recently to talk about some things that I personally will never go through as a man, being women in the martial arts. And I shared with you one of those examples. And they asked that, you know, the show help bring some light to this and just talk about it, just get that conversation out in the open. And we're going to do that. But of course, we need your help. Now, if you've listened to the show for a while, you've noticed that just percentage-wise, we have far more male guests. And that is not anything institutionalized. That is not any bias on my part, certainly. And I wanted to share with you why that is and talk about it for a minute. Flat out, there are fewer responses to the inquiries that we send out. Now, not every guest comes from an inquiry that we send out. But of the inquiries that go out, women are more likely to not respond at all based on the last year and a half. If they respond, they are more likely to drop the conversation. Um, They are far more likely to show up on time and keep the appointment that we set for recording. I can say that. Um, But when it seems like we're already starting from a, a smaller pool to draw from, you know, fewer, a smaller percentage of women in the martial arts, this doesn't add up well, right? So it, it gives the illusion that the participants at the level that we try to keep the guests at, you know, reasonably high level black belts, or at the very least black belts, it gives the appearance that there are very few women that reach that status. And that's certainly not true. We, we know that. We all know that. When we get guest suggestions come in from you listeners, very rarely are the suggestions women. And just an aside, you know, male or female, we follow up on every single suggestion that we get. And I can promise you that there have only been a couple suggestions that we did not feel met the criteria. In those cases, it was someone who was so overtly self-promotional that It was just clear that the conversation wasn't going to happen in the way we wanted it to. We are happy to help people promote what they've got going on, but the show needs to be about what it's about, about telling stories. And we've had some guests that have tried to insist on the questions that we ask and, you know, otherwise messing with the format that we feel really works. And obviously it works because you're listening, right? So I guess that's a sort of long-winded way of saying we're not against female guests. We want female guests. I personally want to talk to more women on this show. So help me out. Help us out. Make some suggestions. Throw your hat in the ring. Throw your instructor's hat in the ring. You know, whatever. Let's let's get some more women on the show. Right? On top of that, we want to do a women's issues in martial arts roundtable, just kind of as a a starting point to kick off some other topic shows, looking for two to three people, uh, ideally at least some of them being women. They don't all have to be women. I know of some men that are far more sensitive to women's issues than I am, so maybe they would be appropriate. I don't know. I don't want to say who can and can't talk about women's issues in the martial arts, but while I have some ideas of people that I'd like to invite before that, I'd like to know who you want to participate. If you have a suggestion for a guest that has been on the show that we can go back and ask, most of them would say yes, I think. If you want to participate in that, you know, we're just kind of looking at doing something similar to the McDojo episode. If you check that one out, uh, you know, just three, four of us chatting, probably over Skype and seeing where the conversation goes, recording it and putting it out for everyone to listen to. That show did really well. There was a lot of great feedback. So let's do that with this subject and see where we go. You know, at the end of the day, I'm the one at the microphone. I'm the one that's helping to guide this show. But this is not my show, or at least I don't see it that way. I I guess in a sense it, it is. I have the creative control. I have the responsibility. 
But this show is about whatever you, the listeners, want it to be about. If people never listen to the interview shows on Monday, we wouldn't do interview shows. If people didn't listen to the Thursday shows, we wouldn't do the Thursday shows. I have a pretty good idea what people like and don't like, not just from the feedback, but from the download numbers. There's a lot of data that helps to drive what we're putting out for content. And that's on the podcast. That's on the social media. That's on everything that we do here at Whistlekick is to respond to what the traditional martial arts realm, market, industry, you folks want. And we're going to continue to operate in that way. So your feedback is critical. Help us out, especially with this subject, because I'm not a woman. I think we, we have all established that, right? I'm a guy. I try to be sensitive. I work really hard to be sensitive, but I'm never going to be a woman. So give me some feedback. Give me some guest suggestions. Tell me what you're looking for as women and as men that are also not women, like I am, not a woman. So I feel like I've beat this horse to death a little bit, but I'm just trying to underscore the importance of this subject to me. So how do we move forward? You go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. You fill out the form there. Let me know what you think. Or you can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. Or you can comment on the post on social media or direct message. Whatever works for you works great for me. Remember, the social media handles are Whistlekick Everywhere, plus YouTube, WhistlekickMartialArtsRadio.com, Jeremy at Whistlekick.com. That all works. Don't forget the wholesale site, Wholesale.Whistlekick.com. And that's it for today. Until next time, train hard, smile, have a great day.